Welcome to Electron Online and now let's take a closer look at what we mean by blue shifted and red shifted because that's usually very much misunderstood. Well, for one thing, let's go back to the basics. If an object like a star is moving towards us, the light coming towards us will have shorter wavelength than if, it, uh, than if the light had come to us from a star that was stationary. Likewise, the frequency of the light will be higher and so we call that blue shifted. And if a star is moving away from us, the light coming towards us will have longer wavelength, higher frequency, and so we call that redshifted. But what does it really mean? Well, we do realize, of course, that stars are mostly made up of hydrogen and helium, so the hydrogen lines can be very easily found. And even though there would be absorption lines, because they're, they're coming from stars, let's just go ahead and put up the emission spectrum here for hydrogen. So that's what the emission spectrum for hydrogen looks like. It has the red line at 656.3 nanometers, the greenish, the blue-green turquoise line at 486.1 nanometers, and the purple line at 434.0 nanometers. Well, if the light was blue shifted, let's say that the object is moving towards us at maybe several hundred miles per second, then you can see there would be a slight shift in the frequency of the light and in the wavelength of the light so that the the uh, wavelength, instead of maybe being 656.3 nanometers, it may be 657.3 nanometers. And likewise, the green light and the purple light will have shifted, giving them slightly longer wavelengths than what it would have been if the star wasn't moving at all, or maybe it was moving radially perpendicular to our direction. And so this is how we can tell that there's actually been a shift, and it's been shifted slightly, oop, and since it's shifted to the blue, it would be a shorter wavelength, like I indicated. So that would be 655.3 nanometers for a good example. So again, shorter wavelength means it's been shifted towards the bluish color. Remember, in astronomy, we call this portion of the spectrum, we call that blue. Even though it consists of both blue and purple light and indigo light, we simply call that blue light in astronomy. So since the wavelengths have been shifted in the direction of blue, blue is a shorter wavelength than red. Remember, blue is about 400 nanometers at its shortest, and red is about 700 nanometers at its longest. So when the wavelengths have been shifted to shorter wavelengths, even though the colors have virtually not changed, this is still a red light, that's still a turquoise green light, that's still a purple light, we call it shifted to the blue. And the amount of the shift will indicate how fast the object is moving. Redshifted means that the object is moving away from us, so we see longer wavelengths, so everything has been shifted towards the left, and since towards the left we have the red light, and towards the right we have the blue light, and I'll put blue in parentheses like that, or in uh, quotation marks like that, uh, to indicate that Everything on this side we consider blue, everything on this side we consider red. It says everything is shifted to the left, to the left, even though, again, the wave, the colors virtually the same as before. In each case, we call that red shifted. The light has been shifted to the left, and so in this case, the wavelength may be as big as 657.3 nanometers. And, of course, I'm just putting that down as an example. It could be any number. It could be 659, 660, 661, 662, whatever it may be. Again, the greater the shift, the faster the object is moving. And so that's what we mean by blue shift and red shifted. It doesn't mean that red light becomes blue and blue light becomes red. That doesn't happen. The shifts are typically fairly small unless the object is moving really fast, like some of the faraway galaxies. They move very fast relative to us, and so the shifts are very large in those cases. But for most objects in the vicinity, quote, vicinity, within our own galaxy or so, uh, we can say that those shifts tend to be relatively small, but noticeable. We can measure them, and from that we can calculate the velocity, which I will show you how to do in the next video. But now, hopefully, you know the difference between blue shifted and red shifted. Again, blue shifted, it's moving towards us, red shifted, moving away from us. Blue shifted means shorter wavelengths, red shifted means longer wavelengths. So from the known numbers that we have from the emission spectra, when the object is not moving, we know that it's shifted. Blue shifted means shorter wavelengths to the right, to the color of blue. Red shifted, longer wavelengths to the color of red. And now you know the difference between blue shifted and red shifted.